combo like that. It's an amazing documentary telling this the story, <laughs> telling the stories of, of the plight of the Aboriginals throughout the history of Australia, and uh, I find that most I'm pr most proud to be involved with a project of such calibre. Yeah. To be able to record multi-track of each one of those performances around the world and then to, to edit it into place and make it sound like a full complete song while still keeping the pace of a film is, is uh, difficult and challenging but very rewarding in the end. <laughs> <laughs> Being the first ever that have won, yeah. what's your nickname for the award? We've <laughs> <laughs> got one yet, but it is heavy. <laughs> Any feature length documentary is a challenge to edit. There's a lot of, you know, you rarely have a script so you don't, kind of uh, just cut to what's on paper you've got to kind of find the film in the edit so it was a lot of hours and a lot of time and you were a cinematographer on this project as well I was yes yes so did that affect the way you worked uh, yeah I only cut in the good-looking stuff <laughs> not the bad no no uh, no no absolutely by the time you get to the edit suite you're just trying to make the best film you can out of the material you've got I'm a bit stunned it's good it's um it's heavy yeah yeah you're a world-renowned nature uh, cinematographer and documentary maker. How was this project different? Look, I think um, it had an enormous amount of personal emotion uh, because it was about the Black, uh, uh, the, uh, Black Saturday fires. A project fought with emotion, trying to film these people who had just lost their ha houses. Many of them had uh, seen their neighbours' houses and them to go up in flames. It was quite an extraordinary project, yeah. What we were trying to capture was the first year of regrowth of the forest. So the fires, well, you just have to look at some of the forests which were just totally devastated. Look, looked like Hiroshima had been through an atomic bomb. And uh, the amazing thing is within weeks the gum trees start to shoot and so it immediately gives everybody a sense of life. So this is quite extraordinary. The SAS haven't actually let anyone uh, into view there to, to film the selection course for 25 years. And we were fortunate, we'd actually done a series called Navy Divers for the ABC. The SAS saw that and were really impressed and wanted to really sh show themselves, to, to be able to show the viewers and the audience and people out there what they do. Because they are secretive, they have to remain secretive. So it was a very brave decision by the SES to do that, but um, we were fortunate to, uh, to be the ones to be able to film it. Well, it's completely unexpected and, um, you know, uh, Julie and I started our company 20 years ago, neither of us having made a film in our lives. And we were sitting down having a cup of coffee one day and decided we'd um, start making films. Uh, that was 100, uh, 125 films ago. So to receive this award now after, after such an adventure is a, an absolute it's a thrill. Delight. It's a thrill. Yeah. A cast of characters in the film that everybody sort of connected at least with someone in the film and the music I think always has a, has a, has a help, helping hand. It's that because these two spent so long filming it, 18 months just gives so much to look at and you see the, the nuances of what's happening. Whereas in a lot of films, because they're made so quickly, it, it's all, you don't see as much. Whereas there was 250 hours of footage. Yeah. So there was a lot to choose from and just find those really delicate moments, I think. I think that's mm. for me. Mm. I think what you look for is a potentially interesting situation mm. and potentially interesting characters. Um, you can't know too much about it or you're too late yes. and then you hope just go in there and wait and see what happens and you hope that there's a narrative a narrative arc yeah. starts that you can cotton on to and, um, and follow yeah. and then the next rule is to never interfere yes. yeah. Yeah. yeah I think it's helpful if you've got characters that are quite external in their process yeah. mm. so in a filmic sense it, it's going to be appearing on your, your microphones and camera and, and also probably from observing Bob's films at least having a location that you can actually be re become really familiar within. 